If you arrived to an emergency department 50 years ago, you would be treated much differently than if you were seen today by a SANE nurse, and that stands for Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner. Back in the 80s, we had some of our very first protocols developed by nurses who worked in the emergency room. In 1992, there were the very first protocols approved and the very first meeting of the International Association of Forensic Nurses. Then in 1995, the American Nurses Association recognized International Association of Forensic Nurses and the term SANE, Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner, was then given to nurses who went through a very rigorous training. So to become a Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner, people complete uh, 40 hours of training and also clinical training. They have to watch someone do a sexual assault exam, then they do it themselves, and then they're allowed to test and be accredited. A sexual assault exam is uh, an examination that we do when people come in after they've been sexually assaulted within the past 120 hours, which is five days. When they come in, we do a head-to-toe examination, and we do evidence collection if that's what they want. Uh, we also have the ability to provide medication that prevents pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. A lot of people think that a sexual assault exam is a very traumatic and terrible experience, and it's really not. It's actually very therapeutic for patients. They get the control back that they lost during the sexual assault. There's nothing with an exam that should be painful. If something hurts, then there's something wrong. We can comfort the patient and just, you know, help them through it.